Hey guys, Anthony here. This is one in a series of short videos with explained your tips. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the pause after action feature. So I've got a project open here. Let me show you a quick example first. So I've got a short scene here with an image in a text box. Let me do a quick preview. So as you can see, the image zooms in first and then the text starts catching and then fades out. In this next scene out here, it's pretty similar to the previous one I showed you, except that I've applied a pause after action. Now let me preview this scene. So you will notice that the image zooms in and then the text starts catching, but you'll see this text remains in the scene a bit longer and then fades out. And that's because I applied the pause after action. So if you want the text to sketch and then remain in the scene a bit longer, you can use a pause after action to pause it before it fades out. And here's how you do it. So first you need to identify the element, in this case the text box on the timeline. And you'll notice here that I've got a sketch by hand first and then a fade out. And these are the corresponding sliders right here. And as you can see here, there's a gap between the sliders, and that's because I've applied the pause after action. And you apply the pause after action in the effects tab. So if I go to the effects tabs right here, you will notice that there's a slider here, pause after action, and you can see I have applied a 48 frames delay or two seconds. So 24 frames equals one second. So 48 frames equals 2 seconds. So if I go to the previous scene, you will notice that there is nothing here in the effects tab in terms of the pause after action. It's zero. So I'm just going to drop down this text. As you can see, there is no gap right here. Watch this section right here. As I increase the slider, so if I slide the slider right like so, to 48 frames, you'll see that, that there's a gap now. And if I play the scene again, you'll notice that it zooms in, and then the text is going to sketch, and then it's going to pause there for two seconds, and then fade out. So in order to apply that pause after action, you have to make sure that you click on that particular animation, so in this case, it would be sketch by hand, and then go to the effects tab, and then apply the pause after action by using the slider. So let me show you another example. I've got a third scene right here, and it's a very short scene again. It's an end slide with a video background, text animation, and a subscribe button, which is an image. So if we preview the scene, you will see that the text appears and then the button. But as you can see, as soon as the button appears, it stops. So what if I want to apply a pause to make the subscribe button stay there a bit longer before the video ends? So I can do the same thing. I'll, I'll make sure that I click on the scene. And then in this case, I have to click on the image, which is this one right here, the subscribe button, which is this one. As you can see, it ends right here. And then I go to the effects tab, and then I apply the pause after action right here. So for example, if I wanted to stop there for three seconds, I just slide the slider until I get it to three seconds. And you'll notice that if I preview the scene now, it's going to play, and then the subscribe button comes, and as you can see, it stops there and pauses for three seconds before it stops. Well, hope you found this explained your tip helpful. Look for many more short videos on explain your tips. Thanks for watching.